initial contact or heel strike, heel contacts the ground with the ankle in a neutral position. Tibialis anterior eccentrically controls the foot as it lowers to the surface of the ground into relative plantar flexion. This is the braking response in gait. This is when the most muscles are working eccentrically. In the loading response or foot flat phase, the body absorbs impact and accepts weight onto the limb. In order to absorb impact, the knee flexes to 15 degrees and the quadriceps contract eccentrically to prevent the knee from collapsing. In mid stance, the body moves forward over the stance leg through concentric hip extension and quadriceps activation. The glute medius is working eccentrically to prevent hip drop or Trendelenburg gait throughout the stance phase. The terminal stance of gait or heel off begins when the plantar flexors contract concentrically to lift the heel off the floor. The last stage of stance phase is pre-swing or toe off. The hip flexors contract in order to initiate swing. The calf muscles continue to contract concentrically. Swing phase is your main acceleration phase. Hip flexors contract concentrically to advance the swinging leg forward. During mid-swing, in order to maintain foot clearance, tibialis anterior must contract concentrically to dorsiflex the ankle. Terminal swing is the deceleration phase of gait, where the hamstrings are eccentrically lengthening to control, mo control forward momentum of the limb prior to heel strike. 